I'd like to give a special shout out to my beautiful daughter for the artwork. What's up, man? It's Shine Allen Cuts, and today I want to show y'all a cut I did. It wasn't today, but I did it uh, a little while ago. It's some dreadlocks, long dreadlocks, but he have a whole bunch of hair under there. So I did a fade and I brought them back to life. So I just want y'all to check out this tutorial, new tutorial. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get to the cut. Peace out. What you call this is a fade. But what you need to do is you need to make sure you pull back the dreadlocks so you can go ahead and get started. So I'm cutting the one and a half, but I'm going with the grain first because I don't want to cut too much hair off. I want it to lay down because I'm gonna lay it down first, then I'm gonna start the fade process. But before I do the fade process, I need to see what I'm working with. I need to see how his growth pattern is. So now what I'm doing, I'm taking my Babyliss FX Gold Pros and I'm balling out. But as you can see, I'm doing a slant because I can do it straight, but I like that swag type fade when you, when you swing it down instead of swinging it straight. Now I'm taking my five star seniors and I got a number one guard on it and I'm going up about an inch. What I'm doing is I'm taking my babyliss and I'm going up a half an inch. But as you can see, I'm playing with the lever because I'm getting rid of that first demarcation line. But I'm using my wrist, flicking it out, flicking it out, flicking it out, playing with it so I can get that line out. But I'm not going too high. I don't want to start a new line. So as you can see, I'm adjusting it. I'm, I'm scooting the lever up close so I can ball it out, but I'm slowly pulling the lever back. Next, I'm taking my magic clips and I'm using a one and a half against the grain, but I'm working on that second demarcation line, getting rid of it. What you need to do is just be patient. You don't need to just focus on just getting rid of everything all at the same time. Cutting hair is a process. Now I'm back down to my number one. And I'm working on that second demarcation line and you slowly start seeing it disappear. But once again, I know that that's not gonna fully take it out, but it's gonna loosen it up though. So that's the whole point. That's why you see me step back. I'm looking at it. I'm like, all right, I need to just play with it just a little bit. Now I take my cordless masters, which I really enjoy. And I'm working on that same second demarcation line, but as you can see, I'm kind of just finessing it. What do I mean when I say finessing? I'm using my wrist and I'm doing the detail of taking it to another level. I'm just playing with it, I'm just flicking it out. I'm using my wrist and I'm turning it. As you see, I'm turning it sideways because I'm focused on the dark spots. So as you can see, I'm just playing with it. I'm playing with that spot. I'm playing with that spot right there because I see little dark spots and I want it to blend well. I want it to blend very well. So that's why you see me just playing around with it, making sure I get all them little dark spots and you slowly start seeing it disappear. When I fade, I focus on the steps, but after the steps is gone, then I focus on freestyle. Now it's lined up time. I'm taking my Babyliss Pro's Gold FX and I'm lining them up. I like these clippers, they giving me a good crispy line. And if you like these clippers, go down to the description section and click my link and purchase the clippers and stuff that you see on this video. All right, these are the Master Key Outliners. So I'm just going back over it. Now what I did was add some color enhancements because I felt like that he needed it just to bring the haircut out a little bit more. Now you don't have to, whatever you feel, you do whatever you do. But as for me, I like to add color enhancements when it's needed. When it's not needed, I don't add it. And there you go. Fade right, fade tight. 